Greetings. This episode of Fun Rover TV will show you how to fit a roof rack to your Land Rover Defender. We're fitting an MCB 4x4 Expedition style roof rack. You can find these on eBay at a very reasonable price. The great little roof racks these, manufactured in West Yorkshire. They're very high quality, very well made, but the price is also good value for money. So we highly recommend fitting one of these roof racks. You'll need at least two people to fit a roof rack of this size and we'll also move the Land Rover into the yard because it gives us a lot of room both around the vehicle and also vertically to work with. Then it's just a case of very carefully lifting the roof rack on. Be careful not to mark the roof with the legs of the rack. This is very easily done and the paintwork here could be quite badly damaged. Roof racks are pretty simple to fit but they're also quite unwieldy so some owners like to go from the front end where the bonnet is. We prefer to do it from the rear of the vehicle, lifting it up and very carefully just edging it along. We've seen owners actually fit a pulley system to the roof of their garage if they're going to remove the rack regularly. It's worth considering that because it also then makes a really nice place to store the roof rack overhead in your garage. The Land Rover accessory instructions for the expedition style roof rack are to position the rack 50 millimeters on a 110 from the rear of the bodywork and 52 millimeters on a Land Rover 90 so bear that in mind. Next place the clamps in each leg support and just tighten the nut loosely finger tight that allows you to make fine adjustments to the position of the rack as you need and our rack has eight of these it's a 110 it's a long rack so we'll go around the landy working in order just to tighten those clamps down be very careful not to drop the clamps because we've done that in the past and it usually hits the bodywork and it causes scratches which is annoying. You'll need a few spanners for securing this rack. Ours uses M10 nuts which are 17 millimeters. Tighten the roof rack down in a cross pattern and gradually tighten each nut working your way around in about two or three series of passes and this place the least amount of stress on the rack and it also tightens it and secures it squarely to the roof. So we're working around tightening the nuts gradually. As we said we'll take two or three passes to do this till the nuts fully tightened and you'll notice that as you do it the opposite nut slackens off so that's why this is the best method to secure the roof rack. Purchasing an access ladder which is fitted to the rear is always advisable. They're not terribly expensive and it makes climbing onto the roof as safe and as simple as possible but it is possible to climb onto the roof without one. If you have checker plate on your wing tops you can more easily reach the roof rack and also if you have bonnet checker plate which is available for the Puma and non-Puma bonnets these can be stood on and that makes a really easy access you can just climb on the bumper onto the wingtop or the bonnet and then up onto the roof rack but without the ladder as you can see it's a bit more difficult to clamber up and getting down is usually the safest if you don't have a ladder at the front. There are numerous fixings available for bikes, jerry cans, rooftop tents and awnings but we'll show you how to secure an unusual load here. This boat is within the maximum weight loading for the roof of 75 kilograms. That includes the roof rack and also it's not actually the maximum weight limit the roof will take because you can fit a rooftop tent and have two or three people sleeping in there but when you're driving around you don't really want to exceed this limit as much as possible because it adversely affects the centre of gravity therefore the handling and safety of the Land Rover could be compromised especially when you're off-roading or overlanding. So ensure that all loads are as evenly distributed as possible and always make sure you're not exceeding the maximum weight limit for your roof. Communicate with your helper, take things very slowly. Dropping an object from this height would damage you, your vehicle and also in this case the boat would be perhaps irreparably damaged. The best way to secure an abnormal load is using ratchet straps. These load straps are cheap to work with and they're very tough. Always buy reputable brand straps though, ones that have been certified, those are the best. We've got a variety of different straps. Now having a mixture of different lashings is a good idea because it allows you to use lots of different fixing points on the roof rack and secure different and unusual objects. So in this case we have some wire hook straps, those are pretty standard. We've got some endless webbing straps. Those are very useful and also some S-hook type lashings which are great for fixing to the either end of the ratchet to itself. Wear sleeves are also available if you have a load such as this boat which could actually be damaged by the rubbing of the webbing on the bottom of the hull. Those just slide onto the ratchet straps and prevent them from fraying and also general wear and tear. 
To use a ratchet strap, simply feed the webbing around the load, then back into the back side of the central ratchet mechanism, as you can see there. Go through that and then come back out and just slide the webbing so that it's, it's loosely secured. Then when you cinch the ratchet strap down, it doesn't have a lot of work to do and you'll feel it tightening up. And you just need to do that until you're happy that your load has been fully secured. Don't forget when you're cinching down the ratchet handle, make sure you push it till it clicks because that locks it in place. You probably want to use three, maybe four ratchet straps on, to be on the safe side. That's going to prevent the boat from moving whatsoever. These are very, very effective ways of securing loads on the top of your Land Rover. To undo a ratchet strap, all you do is pull the release tab and then slide out the webbing. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Fun Rover TV. You can see our last episode here and also check us out on funrover.com. We are at Fun Rover on Twitter and Instagram and we're also on Facebook.